August 24th, 2021. It's Tuesday. It's Harp Tuesday. Welcome to this week's episode. So that was the couple of bars from Bach's Prelude in C-sharp minor, number four from book one of the Well-Tempered Clavier. And a beautiful piece of music. And I'm going to use that as an example today to talk about muffling by replacing on strings without playing them, which can be a really useful tool in one's toolbox. Certain, certain areas, certain circumstances. Particularly, you'll see a lot of wire, wire string harpists. Um, they will do a lot of that replacing because the strings vibrate for such a long time. So here, this little two bar section in the bass where we have all that sustained sound because of course on the harp unless you stop the strings they keep ringing for quite a long time and to a certain extent that's kind of a feature of the harp right that we have to sort of accept the fact that there will be a certain amount of that but in a section like this I think it gets pretty muddy right Once you start hearing that, it, it it's really becomes obvious and becomes something that it would be nice to get rid of. And actually, in this case, what happened to start with for me was I was first dealing with this B sharp happening right here. So here is a B natural that the left hand is playing, this one right here. And then we're going to play a B sharp. And of course, we could mess around with different enharmonics, do that B sharp as a C natural, blah, blah, blah. blah. But I, I kind of wanted to do it anyway, let's be on the scope of this. Let's assume we're going to play that as a B sharp. So what will happen if we don't do any extra muffling is... Sorry. Right, we're going to hear that B get changed in the left hand, that left hand B. We'll hear it get changed. And it's not a, maybe a huge sound if we do that smoothly and quickly with that pedal change, but it is a noise. So I wanted to get rid of that, right? I wanted to do something to, um, and let's just erase that. I wanted to do something to muffle this, right? So that I could safely change this B to sharp, okay? So what can I do? Well, certainly this whole left hand passage, it's not super fast. It could be done with an open thumb, which means that we're always muffling the preceding notes as we place. That gives a particular sound as well as muffling it, it, it a little bit staccato, a little bit detached, even if I'm trying to play it as legato as possible. And while it is an option, it wasn't the type of sound that I wanted. Okay, well, what if, if I just put that thumb right back and ignore these fingerings, by the way, this is just the piano music, right? With uh, some piano fingerings, obviously with a five and stuff like that. So I'm going one, two, and then at the same time, one, to, to muffle that B. And that idea of just replacing, so we, so we go, and then I don't play that thumb and I actually might come off, right? So it's part of playing too, it's as if I'm connecting to that B, but then I have to just take the thumb off and I'm going down to the F. So a very kind of peculiar sensation, again, it's kind of this extra work hard enough we're already having a place ahead of time but now we're at placing a note that we're not actually playing so some extra work and of course if it was super fast it would be very challenging but at this speed I think quite possible so I did that I, I was quite happy with that right I'm now free to change that B to sharp but then I realized well what about the rest of this section can I do something because I had just been playing it something like this, something like, the, something like that. Can 
I do something to get a little bit more clarity? I was noticing, oh wait a minute, there's a lot of extra sound and, and it doesn't sound that good. So on this next little bit, playing these three, uh, three notes here, here's this F that's still ringing. Can I stop that somehow? Well, it's actually the note that we're not playing, of, right? We go from G, E, D. So I've gone, sorry, drum. Play that F. The G is still ringing, but I don't know that I have time to immediately muffle it because I'm also muffling that B. So I'm gonna live with that little bit of a, a little bit of a clash there. But now I'm gonna place all four notes play one, three, four, and then just come off with two. So again, quite, uh, quite peculiar, but effective with a little bit of practice. So this becomes one, three, four, and two, we will be muffling that, right? So we'll place all of these. Then we're going to come off. And this one is coming off here. I'm also just playing this with two. Come off. So that it looks like this from the beginning of the bar. So after all, that lets us let this F ring for quite a long time. You can hear how. Now I have that F placed, but again, I have to come off harder than it. Know, kind of hard but that's okay and now I want to muffle that D so I'm going to place three two one I'm going to end up placing uh, this three two one on that D even though I'm not playing it so I've gone so from place all three of these notes as if I'm going to play D F Now again, I've got the third finger on the D, but it's not going to play it, so I have to come off. And then I have to play this B. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, sorry, sharp. That's what it was. Sorry, sorry, I did forgot to change my sharp. That's why it's sounding weird. Um, so, boom. concerned about the EMF but what I do want to do is, is muffle that B as I go to play the D so I'm gonna play that B with three for example come off and then replace on it again with a little muffle again that idea of like a three two one and come off so placing that third finger without actually playing it Right, so that this whole two bar section. Oh, sorry. So with both hands. Something like that, right? Where that placement, I think, is much cleaner than just playing. Uh, sorry, I can't even do it. Uh... Uh, sorry, I missed a couple notes, but you can hear how that all starts to ring. And in some ways, I mean, again, it's like it, kind of like an organ, for example. An organ in a, in a, in a reverberating hall would have no way of stopping those notes once they got played. Um, but I think in this music, I wanted, it's better to have a little bit more uh, muffling throughout that. So one more time. Sorry. So I think a, a very cool and effective way something really worth keeping in mind. I know 
for example, Renier or Salcedo or Grangini all published music with this idea of sh specifically showing you, oh, you're going to place this finger on this string, but you're not going to play it. It's just there to muffle. Um, takes a little bit of getting used to, but again, just a really handy trick to have in your toolbox. So hope you enjoyed that. Hope you found that useful. And I will see you in two weeks time. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you.